click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the structure of maltose, we have also discussed about the structure of lactose. And now in this topic we are going to talk about the structure of amylose. So how the amylose has been formed, so this is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So now let's get started. So friends, here I am going to talk about the structure of amylose. So as we have discussed the structure of maltose, that is it is formed because of the combination of the alpha, the glucopyranose and in that case also for amylose, it is basically the polymer of the alpha D glucopyranose. The thing is, this polymer that is I am going to talk about, it is nothing but a component of a starch and starch has basically two components that is amylose and amylopectin out of which basically 15 to 20 percent of the component is made up of the amylose and that is water soluble. So now let us understand what is the structure of amylose. So we understood that is for the structure of that is maltose that is it is nothing but the combination of uh, combination of alpha D glucopyranose. So here also we are going to talk about the same one. So this is nothing but the carbon number one that is I am going to talk about. This is carbon number two, three, four, five and this is the carbon number six where it consists of CH2OH and here there is H and since I am going to talk about the so in that case, we have over here as an omeric carbon atom to which basically here there is OH, here there will be H. So talking about the second carbon atom, even the second carbon, carbon atom consists of OH here, H here. So there is H on the third carbon atom which is downward and OH which is on the upward. So this is, so basically I have drawn the Howard position formula for the glucopyranose. So this is the alpha D glucopyranose and suppose if we combine n moles of alpha D glucopyranose so in that case what will happen let me give you a short example suppose if I am combining the another mole of the alpha D glucopyranose so in that case we see this is CH2OH this is H here I will write H OH OH H H OH Suppose if two monohydrates or suppose if two monosaccharides that is this sugar suppose if they are combining with each other and in that case suppose we have got to know that is this is how basically the water molecule it will get eliminated and that is how basically the maltose has been formed. But amylose is nothing but it is a linear polymer of the alpha D glucopyranose. So in that case the structure is what we could get is there will be elimination of the OH from this side and to the hydrogen of the other alpha D glucopyranose and from this side also there will be elimination of this hydrogen with the OH of the other alpha D glucopyranose which is attached to the fourth carbon atom and this is how basically I am going to talk about the structure. So the structure that is what we could get for the amylose is basically I am writing over here there is always an alpha linkage so this is what I am going to talk about so this alpha linkage is between the two that is alpha D glucopyranose and there is presence of basically I will write it over here as OH H OH H H here there will be OH so this will form a glycosidic bond with the other alpha D glucopyranose and here basically we have CH2OH here there is H so similarly here also there will be CH2OH here there will be that is the same one that is I am going to talk about that is OH H here there will be H OH here there will be H and on this side there will be oxygen again this oxygen it will form a glycosidic linkage that is alpha glycosidic linkage so the thing that is I am missing is here is H and here also there will be H hydrogen atom so therefore this is nothing but a linear chain of the alpha D glucopyranose and the number can increase from that is where n is equals to 200 to 1000 that is monosaccharides that is what we could get on hydrolysis so therefore this is nothing but the structure of amylose and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much